Day two after my assault. I arrived home late last night from Chicago, and when I landed, I got the news that there was a warrant out for my, my attacker's arrest. I got a little bit of sleep, and when I woke up this morning, I saw the text from the detective saying that he had been arrested. I finally truly exhaled that he's off the streets, and as I was screaming to him, when I chased him into the brush saying, you're not gonna get away with this with a lot of swear words, and you're never gonna hurt anybody else and he's in jail right now. So I'm grateful to law enforcement for making that all happen. What did I do two days before I was assaulted? I got up, I showed gratitude, my feet hit the floor, I said, it's going to be a great day. I did some breath work, I walked my dog, I went and did my workout class. What did I do two days after I was assaulted? I got up, did my gratitude routines, did my breath work, walked my dog, went to my fitness class. I did what I was planning to do. I did what I was scheduled to do. I did what brings me joy in any given day in my routines. After doing that, I taught my class on Top Gun Courage Flight School. I had a check-in with my inaugural students where I shared my journey so far and the things that I've been teaching them about how to live in courage and how to process your trauma, and just sharing where I am right now. Oh, I forgot to say, on the flight last night, I mean, I had had an intense couple of days, and I just knew in my spirit I needed some relief from that, so I watched some stand-up comedy on the flight from Chicago to Tucson, Bill Burr. I was literally crying from laughing so hard. My stomach hurt, and it was exactly what my spirit needed and my neurological system needed. So even if something is challenging and difficult like it was for me, I just felt like I needed a release and I needed to laugh and that was beautiful. I then was speaking at Desert Christian High Schools, or sorry, Desert Christian Schools annual Veterans Day event. I was their speaker and as I walked in in my uniform to this um, uh, basketball court that was filled with students and families and veterans, and the little kids from the elementary school were up front with their little flags and they were singing Proud to be an American by Lee Greenwood. I sat down and I just started crying. I started bawling. I would have probably done that anyway because of just the meaning of Veterans Day and just the beauty of the honoring that was happening there with these little kids. But even more so, I just know I'm in a, a, on the edge of a very emotional state and I just allow myself to cry. And I don't care what people think. I just was able to experience that and then get up and give my talk and give it with passion about what Veterans Day means and how important it is to serve. I'm now gonna get some rest and I am glad I'm sleeping in my own bed and I'll share some other lessons tomorrow on my journey.